dear viewers welcome to our channel in this video we are going to discuss about the operation of the clutch system look at here pressed See, it's running free. Engage. Now it, it's back again. It's free. Release. The main purpose of the clutch is to engage and disengage power flow from the engine to the transmission gearbox. When the clutch pedal is depressed, power flow will be interrupted. And when the clutch pedal is released, power flow will be resumed. It will temporarily disconnect power transmission so that it will allow us gear shifting. Depending on the type of springs they are using, clutch systems can be divided. For example, this is a coil spring type clutch where the pressure plate is being pushed by these coil springs. The other type of clutch configuration is where we have a diaphragm spring that is acting on the pressure plate. As you can see, these are fingers of the diaphragm. The diaphragm spring is simply a dish looking spring that is inserted between the clutch cover and the pressure plate. This is another example of the diaphragm type arrangement. Now on this clutch arrangement you can see the fingers. These are the diaphragm fingers. The diaphragm it has a dish looking area. It is being prevented. It is pivoting on this wire. So when force is exerted here the fingers, when they go in, this will come out, releasing the force on the pressure plate. This is the flywheel. This entire assembly, the right one is the pressure plate assembly. This is the pressure plate. The pressure plate cover is here. And we have the lever. And we have the release bearing. This is the friction disc. As you can see, the pressure plate, which is here, is clamping the friction disc against the black flywheel. Let me make it more visible. So when the pressure plate is exerting force on the friction disc and pressing it against the flywheel, that friction transfers power from the engine to the input shaft and finally it goes to the gearbox. So when the clutch pedal is not depressed, the, the spring force clamps the friction disc onto the flywheel. So they will travel as a unit when the clutch pedal is not depressed. Look. You can see power is now being transferred to the gearbox. Let us see what will happen when the clutch pedal is depressed. You can see no power is flowing to the input. Now let us see what will happen when the clutch pedal is released again. They are moving as a unit. Press it again. Clutch is disengaged. Clutch is disengaged. Look at what will happen to this pressure plate as the clutch pedal is depressed. See, it's moving out. Now, as you can see, the friction disc is running free. Look at what is happening here when the clutch pedal is depressed. See, it's running free. Engaged. Now it, it's back again. It's free. Release. On this clutch model, we have the release bearing here. This is the release bearing. It is acting on the release levers. These are the levers. And this is the pressure plate cover. Let's assume this is a flywheel. This is the engine flywheel. And the red part in between is the friction disc.
Look at him. Look at him close. Look. So the force of the release bearing, when it is acting on the release lever, the pressure plate will be pulled away from the friction disc. That will disconnect power flow. So power flow will be temporarily disconnected as long as the clutch pedal is depressed. But when the clutch pedal is released again, the coil springs, they will force the pressure plate to clamp the friction disc onto the flywheel. However, when the clutch pedal is released, you can see the pressure plate is gradually returning to its original position. That will force the friction disc pressed hard against the flywheel. That will resume power flow. By gradually releasing the clutch pedal, the driver can ensure a smooth start and go of the vehicle. So if there is a sudden release, if there is a sudden release of uh, the clutch pedal, the vehicle is going to jerk. By gradually releasing the clutch pedal, the clutch disc will tend to slip. That slip condition ensure a smooth start and go of the vehicle. Look at here. Well, that is all we have for you in this presentation. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification. And if you like this video, please smash the like button and share it with friends. We'll come up with another video. Till then, stay safe.